The gap between high-income countries and low-income countries can be reduced through various strategies. Things like intermediate technology or even different types of aid can start to reduce that gap. Aid is the giving of resources from one country or organisation to another country in need. It comes in many different forms, from money to emergency supplies, from food to technology, and even skills like doctors or even teachers. Different types of aid are required for different circumstances. For example, short-term aid is used in emergencies, where a quick response is needed to things like natural disasters. People might need food and shelter quickly following events like an earthquake. Long-term aid should be much more sustainable than short-term aid, and this will look to develop things like water supplies or agricultural initiatives that will generate long-term knock-on benefits for a country. Bilateral aid is between two countries but can often be tied aid where certain conditions are added to the agreement. For example, the recipient will have no choice but to spend the aid on products from the donor country. This can increase the wealth of the donor but not always give the best value to the recipient. Multilateral aid is where HICs will donate money but it will go through an organisation like the World Bank who can then redistribute the money to LICs. There may be conditions put on this aid, but they are usually beneficial to the development of the LIC. Voluntary aid is money that is freely donated through events and organisations, like Comet Relief or Oxfam. The money can then be distributed without condition to areas in need. Aid that is freely given without condition and that has a long-term benefit is the only kind of aid that will really help to reduce the development gap. This aid will help countries to invest in infrastructure and development projects like water supply, electricity grids and roads. Investing in education and health services will also have positive knock-on effects for the country. An interesting form of aid is GOAT aid, set up by Oxfam and operating in areas like Malawi. People can donate money to buy a goat for a village where the goat can help in a number of ways. They can produce milk that can also make butter and cheese. They can be used for meat and they can be bred to produce more goats that can be sold providing income for the village. The manure will also benefit the soil as a natural fertiliser and goat herding can be a useful job for people to help their community. Although there can be vet fees and transport may initially be expensive, the benefits would appear to outweigh the issues. Intermediate technology is important because it's a sustainable and appropriate form of technology that uses the skills and knowledge on a local scale. It will fit into the local environment and encourages more employment without using technology that may put people out of work. Intermediate technology is usually small scale and will often focus on water supply or sanitation, agriculture or health. Small dams to help irrigate local crops using low technology often human-driven, is a good example, where the initial technology is simple, but the knock-on benefits can be far-reaching. Aid needs to be something that helps an LIC, and HICs need to ensure that development projects they initiate are sustainable and appropriate for the people they'll benefit. Mm -hmm.